Ross, you have to convince Matt to drop this lawsuit. You have to tell him how crazy it is. How mean this is. Vanessa's going to hate him if he forces her to give up her baby. Matt is determined to do this. Well, fine. Then you tell him to get another lawyer. I agree. Neither one of you has the right to force her to do anything. If Matt's so determined to do this, tell him to get somebody else. Let's not be so cavalier. And let's be very clear about what we are talking about. Vanessa will die if she continues with this pregnancy. She will die. And I refuse to let that happen. This is suicide in slow motion. And I believe that Matt has the right to stop it, to try and save her, whether she wishes to be saved or not. So the two of you are playing God? I don't know. But God doesn't want us to take our own lives, does he? Excuse us a minute. Ross, you said earlier that you would do the same thing that Matt is doing. All right. All right, you think about our two boys. You tell me you would have made me do something that would have prevented them from being born. I dare you. No, Blake, this is completely different. Unlike our situation, Vanessa is asking Matt to accept this baby's life in exchange for hers. And that is what's not fair. And what nobody in this room is talking about is this. If Vanessa agrees to have the C-section, there's a good chance, doctor's quote, good chance that the baby will survive too. So not only do I not blame Matt for what he's doing, I can't see that he could possibly do anything else. You don't get it. This is about a mother's right to do anything she can to protect her no, baby. it is not an evil. Ross, you do what you have to do. But just realize that I will never You're getting Come worse, on. aren't you? Let me get you home. Why can't you see what you are doing? I know what I'm doing. I'm giving my husband a healthy baby girl. So he can raise it alone? Holly. Vanessa, for the love of God, would you shave yourself and, I want to and save the baby? Stop Have the C-section now. Stop it. Would you please, Vanessa? Vanessa, Gina, Billy, Peter. They're going to lose you all over again. I heard what you had to say. Okay, double cheeseburger, french fries, chocolate shake. Got it. So good. <laughs> Heart attack special, hold the paramedics. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. If what you're going to tell me is that dad called and he can't... Eleni, I got to go. No, I got to... No, 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 I don't want to talk to you about Buzz. I want to talk to you about Frank. Why? What did he do now? No, I just... I'm really glad that you understood why he was so upset. Because he loves you so much. <sighs> And he just wants to be sure that you have the kind of happiness we do. Frank is trying... <laughs> My whole life, Frank has been trying to protect me from getting hurt. From <laughs> skinning my knees, <laughs> to my first crushes, to even to my failed marriages. He just wants me to be happy, I know that, but I will be if everybody around us would stop giving me and Philip advice. I mean, at some point, we're gonna have to start listening to ourselves and stop listening to what everybody else has to say. You do, you do, it worked for Frank and me. See, that's it, mm -hmm. hands down, it's over. From now on, we are off limits to everybody else, except Good. for Lizzie, because she's his daughter, so she kinda <laughs> gets special clearance. But Beth, we are definitely off limits to Beth. Oh, she's out of there. And you know what? Buzz is going to be here pretty soon, so why don't you just go? Go to Phillips. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Hello. 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 See ya, Stop. Hello. <laughs> Champagne. Caviar. What do you think this is? Okay. Uh, Were you about to say a nice, quiet evening with your ex-wife, because if you were, you would be exactly right. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Strange, but even without the fire, I am suddenly 
burning up. In fact, I don't think I need anything at all. You know, I'm so sorry that I keep staring at you. I just, I've been wanting to tell you this. Your eyes, they're an incredible shade of blue. Really? Yeah. Surprise, hasn't anyone ever told you that before? My mother tells me I got nice eyes, but it's usually when she wants me to rub her feet or something. <laughs> oh, rub her feet, that's a damn shame. You have what I call bedroom eyes, you know. And even in being in jail here, when you look at me, Stanley, I just get all worn and fuzzy inside, you know. Thanks. <laughs> But uh, you better eat your supper before it gets cold. Yeah, yeah, I better, because I do like it. But... I'll be back later for the trip. Can you just do me one thing before you leave, please? Sure. What? <laughs> 